Hi, and welcome to yet another Q&A Saturday. I'm Alison Beer of alisonbeer.com, where I work with people who want to live lighthearted, re-harness their own creativity, and learn to draw their very own cartoon characters. Today, I'm kicking off an exciting new series. I'm going to be drawing my way around the world, looking at the different icons and the amazing scenes and monuments of different cities all around the world. And I'm starting right here in Cape Town with Table Mountain. There'll be an opportunity for you to take part, but more about that later. For now, let's get to drawing Table Mountain. So here I am working with Table Mountain, and as you can see, I'm busy with a reference. Very, very important to work with a reference and not to worry too much about every little contour and detail. I'm just getting the effect of it against the skyline, making sure that I fill in the horizon line, and then something in the very foreground, this, the surf line and these couple of rocks to give me some detail there in the foreground. And then of course it's time to move on to our character, who is always, always the star of the show. So put them up close and personal in the very foreground, nice and big and dramatic, here standing on tippy toe, and then reaching out to interact in some way with that icon, because you don't want them just standing abstractedly together in the picture, you want them connected and engaged with each other. Now as I do some painting here, let me just go back and talk a little bit more about the important things here. So when you are positioning your, uh, when you're using your reference, you want to possibly even trace a little, as I have, to build yourself some muscle memory, because when you trace, you engage with a picture in a different way. You, you bring another sense of touch as well as sight, and that helps you to draw it more accurately later when you want to do it for realsies. Of course, once you have got your reference, or you find your reference can be a bit challenging, and when you've got something big like I've got here, like a mountain that I want to fit in, it's good to have a reference which is taken from very low down because it gives you a more dramatic aspect and it also helps you to fit everything in. Of course, then you also want to simplify the details, so make sure that you get that icon standing nicely against the skyline. And similarly with positioning your character, make sure that you position your character dramatically in such a way as to give you a whole lot of visual excitement. So let's just sum up what we've learned about drawing these icons that we're going to be tackling. The first thing is always use a reference. There is no way that you'll be able to remember the details that you need to just straight out of your head. So find the reference and use it. When you're looking at your reference, what you need to consider is positioning. So here it's a mountain. So it's big and I've, I've used a photograph as a reference which was taken from low down at beach level across the bay. If you've got a very iconic item, you might be able to just use part of it and compose your picture that way with a lot of drama. But in general, if it's something big and you need to fit it in, you need a photograph which is taken from low down with a wide angle. The other thing is you need to consider how you're going to simplify it. You see, you don't need to get all the contours absolutely perfect. If we go back and look at our original reference and hide everything else, you'll see that the original reference was, well, pretty darn chunky and much rougher. But we have smoothed out these contours and come up with a much more simplified thing. So you need the outline against the horizon, you probably need a ground line, you need this bit of beach in the front here, and we put in these rocks in front to get that all worked out. So that's what you need to look at is simplifying so that you don't have all the crazy amount of detail that you thought that you would need before. Okay, so we're going to simplify, we're going to use a reference, we're going to consider positioning, Oh my goodness, what am I doing here? Positioning, we're going to simplify, and we're going to make our character the star of the show. And I put this little starfish here just to remember, remind us that the character is always the star of the show, and that is what we need to remember. 
Now you might be thinking, okay, so I'm never going to go to Cape Town, I'm never going to need to draw Table Mountain, how much use is this to me? Well, there are lots of other things that you can draw using similar techniques and principles. The first and most obvious one is obviously these mesas in the southwest in the US. But any mountain, any far away piece of scenery that you're trying to draw, these principles will be useful for that as well. So that's it. Dan and Dusted, the very first in our series of iconic views, monuments and places to draw all around the world. As you can see, there are some principles at play and you'll be able to apply them wherever it is that you live. And this is where it gets exciting. You can join in by sending in anything that you want to learn how to draw. Anything at all that you would like to incorporate from your city into your cartoon diary or your scenes. Drop it into the comments below or else on my YouTube comments. Or if you'd like even more tips and some special stuff that I only share with email subscribers head on over to my website, www.alisonbeer.com and sign up there for email updates. Get drawing, send in your suggestions for iconic things that you would like to record on paper and we will get started again with the next one next week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Q&A Saturday.